before we get going with this week's video, we will be at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa next week. We'll be there on Wednesday and Thursday. So if you happen to see us while you are attending the RV show, please stop and introduce yourself and say hi. We love to talk to anybody that we happen to meet. And speaking of meetup, we will be also hosting a meetup at Bootleggers Brewery. It's a local Tampa brewery. The address will be down below. And who's going to be at that meetup with us? We will par be participating Zephyr Travels along with Wander Local, Love Subbing, and some other YouTubers. Yeah, so if you're in the area and you've got the time, be sure to stop by. We'd love to meet everybody. So let's get back to the video. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we are at Hillsboro State Park and it's about halfway between Tampa and Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills is, I think, that way about 10 miles, and Tampa's the other way, just a little over 10 miles. And we're in Florida. Yeah, oh yeah, we're in Florida if you haven't figured that part out. Right. We've been staying here since this past Monday, and we will be here over the Christmas weekend. The weather's been a bit rainy. But today, the sun has really come out, the clouds are gone, the temperature is cooler, and yeah, I understand... and it's going down. Yeah, I understand Florida is supposed to have record cold for the Christmas holiday. Yeah. So, for but, us... But, yeah, but not as bad as probably some of you experienced over your Christmas holidays if you're up in the Northeast or pretty much anywhere else in the country. Right. Um, we're going to have cold weather and it might get down into the 40s. Yeah. So, for those of you who have had zero temperatures or minus temperatures or in the wind, this weather for us is very tolerable. Yeah, we're taking it. Yeah. It's not snowing. Right, right. <laughs> That's true. So, so, you tell me, what do you think of this campground? It's, it's okay. It's probably not my favorite state park that we've been to so far. Um, it, but it's it's nice. Yeah, it, it's a nice campground. They keep it very well kept up. Yeah. The peers are, you know, always out doing something. As soon as somebody leaves their campsite, they're there fixing it up, cleaning up whatever needs to be done. Yeah. And uh, like a couple of the state parks that we've stayed at so far, the um, campsites, they're not they're not paid that, they're that really would, that would be one of my one of my yeah. criticisms it's not there's no pavement stones or anything on the campsite which would make it a little nicer right. um, the other criticism I have is some of the sites are a little close to each other and small um, we this is actually our second site that we are on when we were here the first site when we got the trailer in here there really wasn't even enough room to put the truck in front of the trailer but luckily that, that site happened to be fairly wide and I could get the truck beside the trailer um, this site is not too bad, but it's not what you would expect for a state park, I don't think. Right. I mean, I, it, you know, it, it's okay. I mean, yeah. we have electric and we have water. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's it's not bad. No, it's not bad. And, and there are other sites in the park here that are nicer. Right. That are deeper and more, you know, more space around them or however you want to look at it. But it's a mix. And so I think if you were to come here... You really want to pay attention to what size trailer you have and check the site size, see what they have on their recommendation on that. And I think they only tell you the size of the site. Um, like if it says it, it will accommodate a 35 foot trailer, that's probably just the site and it probably wouldn't include the tow vehicle. Because right. I think the other site we were on was, I think said was about 35. I always check site size make sure we fit and it said it was about a, I think it said it was about a 35 foot trailer and we fit on that but we our tow vehicle didn't and so you might find it if you had a larger than a 28 foot trailer and you're into one of these 35 foot sites some of them you might not even have room to put your tow vehicle in unless it's right next to your trailer or parked off someplace else now, in this site there's I mean this site's not bad and there's plenty of room and you could you know you could easily get our truck, a 30-foot trailer and whatnot in here. 
but there, I think there's other sites that could be a little yeah. tight. One of the things on this campsite that I'm not particularly a fan of is the location of the electric and the water. It's kind of in the center of the campground, and so when we pack the trailer in, as you can see, it ends up being on the wrong side, so we had to run all the hoses and electrical lines under the trailer. It wasn't really a big deal because we were able to get close enough to it that we could do it with 25 feet, but still, it's really not ideal for how this campsite was set up. Maybe this was intended to be more of a tent campsite, not an RV campsite, but whatever it is, it's the way it's set up, and we ended up uh, making it work. So this is the kayak launch area at uh, Hill River. This is where if you bring your own kayak, they recommend that you launch it. Not that great of a spot. There's really no beach area or anything here that you could, you know, bring your kayak up to. And I imagine if there's multiple people here launching their kayaks, it could get kind of busy. And also, if you look this way, you can see you've just got a narrow staircase to bring your kayak down. So again, if there's multiple people launching kayaks here, this could get pretty busy and crowded real fast. This is the launch area for the kayak rentals. You can see the rental kayaks are right behind me and also have canoes. And they have a much larger area for launching their kayaks right here. Probably because it's probably much busier in the season with a lot of kayaks. Now I did notice now this isn't the busiest season for kayaking here. It's been kind of cool around Christmas. So I did notice a few people come this way and launch their kayak here instead of the other launch area that we showed you earlier. Yeah. And we've also noticed like one of the other campgrounds that we stayed at, a state campground, they do have, I guess you would call them large tents. Yeah, yeah, they have um, uh, like a luxury type tent that you can rent and they've been pretty popular and they're the ones they have here are pretty nice. Yeah, they're large. Yeah, they're on a platform. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they do have an air conditioner and a heating system. Yeah. So they could accommodate, you know, Which the, they're gonna need. the whole year round. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so those are nice. And uh, what else? Uh, well, I'll give you an idea of what's kind of nearby here. Uh, Bush Gardens is only maybe 10, 12 miles from here. We've passed by that. Um, and that's kind of where some of the more uh, stores and such are for this area. Right, if you drive into Zephyr Hills, they do have stores. Appears they have a lot of fast food restaurants. Yeah. We did notice there is a Home Depot and, and a Lowe's. Yeah, yeah they, have, they seem to have like a main strip with all the restaurants and stores and such um, there. Yeah. And if you go the other way towards Tampa, you get down near the University of Florida and that campus area, there's a lot of uh, shopping and, and right. other things available there. Right, that, that area is pretty well built up. Yeah. enough? Yeah, I don't think I would with just a sweatshirt, but I have to put on the heavier gear and the gloves. We decided to take a walk around the campground and look at whatever Christmas decorations campers may have out.
Well, we hope you enjoyed this little tour of Hillsborough River uh, Campground. And if you like this video, what should I do, Diane? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post videos on a weekly basis, and we just love to have you follow along on our One Lap of America tour this year. Actually, it's One Lap of the U.S. We're not going through all of America. Right. Just the U.S. So. Just the U.S. Yeah. So hit that bell and uh, subscribe and follow along, and we will be posting more videos on a weekly basis. So until next time, we'll see everybody down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Oh, hey, before you forget, make sure to look for us at the Florida Super RV Show in Tampa. We will be there through the week, and we'd love if you happen to see us just to stop and say hello and tell us where you're from and what you like about our videos. And leave us a comment if you're going to the Tampa Super RV Show. Okay. All right. Let's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We've got miles behind us and miles to go.